Hey guys, Skip here. We uh, we're waiting on the rest of the crash test boys, but uh, fairly breezy, maybe about 10, 12 mile an hour. We got the timber out to start with. Haven't had this out since last season. Something to fart around with. I've got the EC1500 in there. I still want to finish tuning up. And then uh, Steve and Mike and Marty are supposed to show up. Looks like I think one of them's here. Looks like. So anyway, let's take off. Don't need any flaps in this stuff. That's about half throttle, man. That was about it. It took off before I gave it to half throttle. Got it to half throttle, to tell you the truth. Kids got to see the takeoff. We'll bring it down here, maybe. I've got to remember which one I've got the bomb drop on here, guys. Did I do it on this? No. Yeah, no. Time remaining, four minutes. flying in place there. In fact, we are pretty much stationary on once. Right, maybe this one does it. Throttle cut on. No, nope, that's not it. Okay, we're going to have to check that. See if I even have it hooked up. I got two ping pong balls in there. something else flying up there. I'm not sure what it is or who. Probably a real plane. So what did I set to do the... side of my eye. Let's get out of the sun here. I have to find out why it didn't open. Because it did open and I didn't see the things drop again. Yellow ping pong ball or yellow ball, sponge ball, sponge rubber balls. It shouldn't be too hard to see. Yeah, and I don't trust this battery, so. Receiver, 5.2 volts. speed here. It's an old van battery I've had for a couple of years now. I wasn't happy with it when I first got it, to tell you the truth. And uh, it hasn't failed to disappoint me, or I should say, it hasn't failed not to disappoint me. Crabbing, trying to stay with the wind there. 
should make the landing kind of interesting. Let's give it a try. I don't think we're going to need any flaps. Just picking up. It's gusting up. To, it's gusting enough to push me. And straighten her out at the last second. There we go. Throttle cut. Throttle cut. And let's take a look down here. Oh, it did work. So we've got some balls laying out there, some golf balls. Let's see which one does it. Must be the safe. Okay, so safe does it. All right, so we got some balls out there to find. I can't believe I didn't see them. Maybe the camera did. They're uh, fluorescent uh, yellow sponge balls, and there are two of them. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We're still waiting for the boys to show up. See you in a short. Hey, Steve, what you doing, buddy? Hey, how's it going, folks? <laughs> Getting the uh, FPV gear ready. And you're going to be flying a... Uh, Phantom 3 Professional. Oh, drone today. Okay. Yeah. Getting a little some video capture. Hopefully something good. Yeah, it should be fun. Yeah. Alright, stay tuned guys. Let get Steve get it all set up and I'll get the timber up there if you want to do some slow flight and maybe... Oh, that'd be great. Get, get some filming on me? Fantastic. Alright, dude. Magical. Yeah. Okay. Take guys, Steve's having a little trouble getting the thing bound up right now, but he's going to join us. Uh, we got to watch out for the kite flyer and that string out there now too. So I'm going to stay clear of him. We'll stay over on that side of the field wind is knocking this thing all over the place watching out for pedestrians <laughs> and we're gonna get off of this and probably play it out there too let's keep it safe guys man did you see that thing catch me that was without safe on. Now with weight, with safe, it's behaving a lot better. It's still being tossed around, but wow. big time it's supposed to cut down it's about 15 16 mile an hour right now and sometimes gusting up the field like about 20 18 20 time remaining four minutes the place is filling up here guys I guess there's going to be a basketball game today so we may have to cut this uh, short doesn't look like Mike and Marty are showing up uh, I should have brought my phone with me it's probably a reason yeah, this is full bore into the wind with a fresh battery, guys. No flaps. And Helena having a heck of a time. That was full speed with the against the wind. It's a little bit faster going with the wind, that's for sure. Flaps on. Half flaps, not too, too crazy here. But yeah, no power. Zero power, half flaps. Let's take the flaps off. Get a little more speed so we don't dump it. That's about as slow as, as it can go right now without going backwards. 
That was close to stall right there, guys. Even on this timber. So had to pull out of that one. Some real choppy, nasty windy going on going on here. The tailwind sure helps you turn on the dyno. How you doing over there, Steve? Are you still you getting getting anywhere? I should have put a camera on this plane. I could have got some shots of that kite. And Steve, if he ever gets off the ground there. Hey, <laughs> lol, lol, Steve. Sorry. It's gonna see this. Call me a dick. You dick. Okay. Kite is down. We can do what we want. Let's see if we can just some kind of cruise these mountain tops here. Oh, he's up again. Get out of his way. <laughs> it's getting windy and choppy. Time two Using about a three-year-old, uh, maybe a three-year-old power hobby. Let's try it out. Get out the safe right now. It rolled me. I took safe off and it rolled me. Really? It did. I'm not kidding. With the crosswind, it literally flipped me right over. What is that up there? The real plane. Let's go get him. Yeah. But yeah, wow. that was not. And this is with safe on. With safe off. It was, uh, they're safe off. And I'm having a, yeah. a real hell of a time here. Wow. It keeps ballooning. Oh, it's ballooning and then it dives, dives, knocks it down. The wind's coming down. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's knocking it down. It knocks it sideways. It flipped it over. Yeah. When I was at this angle, it yeah. flipped it over. Wow. Literally just flipped it over and I didn't have a choice. There wasn't enough aileron in it. 30 seconds. Oh, no. Really? Okay. I better. <laughs> Yeah. No luck with the drone? No, I don't. I gotta take a look at it again. Oh, I'm bummed, dude. Uh, that would have been some good footage. Then I realized that I dropped my case and it cracked. Your, what, the case on the... The case on the transmitter. Oh. Oh, so I'm gonna see if I can order another case. Did that plane just disappear or is it me? Uh, yeah, it's me. Yeah. Okay. There. There. Oh shit. I don't even have my glasses. I will. I'm wearing mine and it still disappeared. That's like over the telephone pole. Well, I'm, I've got three quarter throttle trying to get it here. Wow. Yeah, now you can see wings. I'm full throttle trying to bring it in, man. I'm not kidding you. <laughs> wow. Oh, I, mean, I thought maybe I'd get lucky if I if I'd have stopped if I'd have pulled that stall real early, oh. I'd have dropped it right here. But that was that was perfect. That was fine. Oh yeah, I saved the whole plane on that one. Nice. Would have cracked something for sure. Yeah. All right. And the plane, the, the battery's about dead too. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's good. Cool, man. Hey. Steve, thanks for showing up, man. Hey, At least one of you guys did. You. Yeah, yeah did I get, am I getting you in the camera this time? I think you were. I think I was chopping your head off last time. Good now, yeah. Okay.
So, anyway, it right. doesn't look like uh, the, the crash test boys, the other two, are going to show up today. So, yeah. maybe a little too windy for the Fairweather Flyers. <laughs> that was for Mark and Mark. Uh, Mark, and Mark. <laughs> I keep getting their names. I put them together. It's Mark. Mike and Marty. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah. <laughs> That was fun. Tune in next time. Yeah, yeah. No, that was a that was fun landing. I had I thought I was maybe three. put it down here, but then it just did yeah, a little bit more lift than I wanted, and I kept flaring it, so I wouldn't. You know, I wanted it to yeah. stop before it hit that. That was perfect. So yeah. awesome. Thanks for joining us, guys, and uh, we'll catch you soon. See you next time. Ciao for now. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I can fix it, guys. I went to go around one more time. You know me, and the battery ran out right here, man. And, and I thought I'd make it clear past this this and it, and it hit the shed so i think it'll be all right yeah it's a if she's been wrecked a whole lot worse i'm sure she'll be fine tip her up on her back let's see if the, if she still runs i don't think i broke a prop it, can you drop the tail for me yeah Yeah, we're fine. We'll just glue that shit on there and we'll be good. Good to go. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later. <laughs> One time I don't have the camera on, right? <laughs> I was just flying it to get the water off the bottom from that last landing. It didn't have enough scuddy. <laughs> See you guys. Oh, how many times have you flown this one? Twice. You don't like it? Mikey flying. Oh, let's go see what Mike's doing. Yeah, it looks like he's got the UC-1500. Mine's broke for right now. I'm going to watch what these guys are doing a little bit so I don't do all the flying time. Sneaking up on your backside here, bro. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's windy up there, dude. I took the safe off of my timber and it made it roll. I did a roll without even trying. And it almost crashed me. And then, then, it, then it was doing this up and down. Watch it's, this, man. I was flying back. Steve goes, it's porpoising. I said, yeah, I just, but it's, the flaps are up. It's not porpoising. The wind took it up and the wind took it down. You seen all the up and down? Have you got hit with a cross? It, man. You got hit with a crosswind yet? Yeah. Until you blinded me, you farted. <laughs> farted. <laughs> Keeping it clean for the kitties in case they watch, huh? I said farted. It doesn't matter. You can swear. You can say words on this now. We can say whatever you want. I I made my channel for not not intended for kids. We're allowed like I don't know, ten or eleven fucks. Excuse me. Oops. Pardon me. A couple of shits. I don't know how many. But you're allowed to cuss a certain right amount. Sorry about that, guys. Pardon Just giving him an example. Got that information from Dave's RC. He, he, he went off on it like... <laughs> if there to show you how, how this thing is. Just... I was flying my timber like that. Uh, so slow it almost stalled at one point. One time got it to go actually almost backwards. Get up there and, and catch that, that wind right over here. Take safe off and just try to fly it. I'm, I'm with, not driving with safe. Oh, you're not? No. Do a loop. I'm, do I'm a, on Mikey mode. Yeah. What's Mikey mode? That's Mikey mode. Oh, you don't have safe on. How come it's not blowing you all over like it did me? Uh, fly some more. No, I don't think that was it. No, I Maybe really the think wind, that you need wind to settled down a little bit. You sure you're not unsafe? Do a loop. A what? Oh, ha 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 ha! Caught ya! Ha ha ha! Yeah, flip of the switch, Mr. Loop Man. Oh, I'm not flying safe. I wasn't on uh, safe. You're though. busted, pal. The whole world's gonna know it now. <laughs> but try flying without the safe. It's really, it's really wicked. Dude, I'm bringing my plane.
plane home in one. But get it up way high when you take the safe off. It gives you a fighting chance. You can always flick it back on safe if it gets out of control or you can't handle it. Dude, I love this plane so hard. But there's got to be wind directions going from like eight different directions up there. You love that plane, don't you? I huh? do. Look at it. It's so easy to fly. But you get such long flight times on that thing, too. How long? I haven't flown. I've only flown this like twice. That's why I didn't go out last weekend because that little child was well you were flying it for a while before I even got over here so I've been here for about four minutes probably three or four minutes it's a little touch and go it was the wind die down for you now it's beautiful out I don't know. if I'd have had this calm breeze I'd have made this I'd have cleared the and made my landing <laughs> I told my brother, I said, I'm flying. I don't care this time. My helicopter's on my way. What'd you order? Uh, 230 V2. Blade? Yeah. I've been flying a lot, dude. I go to uh, where the new, uh, the old Jew used to be. Uh-oh. Here, here comes one bad pilot. Look out. Yeah. Steve, didn't you bring any planes? No, I just brought my just, drone. Just the drone? Yeah, I was focusing on that. You can come by my house if you wanted to look at a bunch of planes and maybe fly on the simulator or something. Oh. Hey, wait, I gotta drop off some lunch if I made my dad. Ah. Yeah. One coming in, don't take me out. One coming in, one going out. Hey, there you go, bro. Maybe I like this one this time. Maybe. 50-50 chance. You want flight? No, I'm good, thanks. I didn't bring my glasses. Timber flight XOX <laughs> FX. <laughs> Timber FX. XL. XL. XL FX. Oh. Dude, this is such oh, a man, I hope he doesn't. Do some tricks. Cream it. <laughs> <laughs> he will. Too. He will, too. He doesn't, he doesn't need any instigation. <laughs> when are you going to do some tricks? <laughs> All right, you don't have to show off just for us, because that's when bad things happen. It's an awesome plane. I brought the car to uh, yeah, set some up good fly in there, Marty. Yeah. Like, Did I tell you that last time? I think so, yeah. I got the car, and we can flip it. Obviously, he's not using safe select, guys. That is a plug-and-play airplane. Oh, so if you go past the peripheral, it'll come back? In fact, that's not even a safe select plane, a binder fly plane. That's a plug-and-play, isn't it? Yeah. That's the one we put the other spectrum receiver in. Uh, what, seven channel or eight channel that you had? No AS3X. As the camera, I'm picking up uh, distance, good? Hey, you wanna read that? Maybe we can figure it out. Uh, I've got the uh, lens set right now on 2X zoom. That's as high as it goes. Oh, you got a zoom on that too? Just 2X high, so it's not very good. Wow. But it should be good enough to be able to see these, these oh, planes. Good. What we uh, what we videoed last week was was on 2x. I did oh. it on 2x because I was getting a lot of uh, complaints that people couldn't see the planes, you know. And it's not always my fault because other people are sometimes flying the thing. Right, right. You know, and somebody wants to fly way the hell out there. There's not much I can do about it. Yeah, that's what I was with the GoPro. It was two feet out. Most of it's great. The Timber X. No safe select, just plug and play. And Marty's mastering this wind today. Marty, you're having fun with this wind, aren't you? Is it me or is the wind cut considerably cut, cut down? down? Yeah. Big yeah. time, didn't it? Yeah. It's hardly pushing my I mean I'm hardly moving now. It was moving my body before. It was. It was gusty. Is that a real plane? It is. Okay. Oh, that's a jetliner. Even without my glasses. Yeah. Well, without my glasses, I could probably. Without my glasses, I could see it better. <laughs> Is there one or two of them? <laughs> uh, one. And the girl in the bikini. Did you see that? No, I'm seeing two jetliners. One right behind the other. Oh. 
I need a pres I need to change my prescription. Yeah. Problem is, is every time I go in to get it, my prescription changed. They give me a pair of glasses. They last for about a month or so, and then I can't see out of them again. Yeah, this ain't so, as fun as My eyes keep changing. No? So now, I, for the first time in, in my entire life, I got to take my driver's test and not wear glasses, and I passed. What? Yeah. My, my left eye, I can see at a distance. My right eye, I can see up close. And between the two of them with that stereo effect, wow. I've gotten used to it. Uh, a couple times, like right now, I'll take my glasses off and... <laughs> what? He's oh. kidding, I hope. <laughs> Why'd you stay upside down then, Marty? <laughs> and see, today I can actually see that. Still a little better with the glasses on, at least out of one of the eyes. Plus, I got that photo ray with the the color changing lenses. Oh, that's makes that's it helpful. easier to look yeah. at a yeah, that's at the sun or in bright sky. Yeah, yeah let's go out here oh, and get a little closer. There's a wind shear somewhere over there. Yeah I found I found it. There's a wind shear that shoots straight through from over there. To over there. Yeah, I couldn't get it back around. I wasn't joking when I said I couldn't get it back. Oh. Like a I thought you were. I thought you were kidding. I wasn't kidding when I said it literally flipped my plane and there was nothing I could do about it. Were you trying an upside down inverted flat spin? No. Just yeah, I don't like this plane at all. Oh, you sure shows that you hate it. <laughs> you fly that thing like it's like you stole it, man. If it was like the timber, I'd like it a lot more. Well, the timber's so stable and predictable. Unless it's running out of juice and you think you're closer than you are. Yeah, we know that. My yeah. eyes, maybe, maybe my eyes have gotten better for seeing, but my distance has gotten worse. Yeah. So I mean, where I judged and thought I might clear those cans, and hit the, I mean, I was 10 foot short, 12 foot, 12, 15 foot short of where I thought it was coming in. I thought you were 20 feet ahead, but you were actually 20 feet receded. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought yeah. I was. So you thought I was closer too, I right? Do. I'm like, you gonna land right? Oh. I thought I'd already cleared the shed. Yeah, I thought you were over the garbage bill. Yeah. <laughs> oh, All right, I'm gonna head off. I gotta stop by my dad's. All right, buddy. It's Hi, good boss. to see you. Good to see you, too, man. Good, good to see you. And uh, we'll see more of Steve here, guys, shortly. See what Mikey's going to do. Yeah. Thanks for good flight, Mark. Good landing. Good takeoff. Martin, wonderful flying, sir. I salute you. All right, so we got Mike up here again. We got Marty. Are you recording? Yeah. Where's Marty at? Ooh, watch out for him. He likes to buzz the tower. There he is. So you guys gonna dog fight? Nope. Marty, are you upside down? Yeah, it looks like Nemo. <laughs> you got forests in there, don't you? Marty? You running for us? Oh, I don't know what I'm running. Seems pretty peppy. I might. I heard that. Alright, whatever. Finding Nemo. Why the wind's really taking this thing? Yeah, it's picking up again now a little bit. Yeah, that crosswind is where I caught that, that wing over. An unintended wing over. But with the safe on it, it still handles it pretty good. And Marty's running AS3X, but no no safe.
So you guys, you don't have to have safe on and still get the benefits of AS3X. Because he'd be getting beat around like I was without it. Have you tried flying without? Oh, actually you can't. He's, he's bound just for the AS3X all the time. That's right, I forgot about that. Touchdown, crowd goes wild. Nice landed, dude. Nice flying. EC-1500 cargo plane from E-Flight. Get yours at Horizon Hobby. Looks like your uh, repair job held up, huh? Obviously. The Nassau works fine. Yeah, it looks great. They start at the same time and everything. This, this motor is vibrating. Uh, balance the prop. Yeah, balance the prop. They don't come balanced. I had to balance mine. And how did you do that? Uh, put them on a balancer. I've got one at home if you want to stop by, a good one. I gotta pick up the Izzy. Just put it on a balancer and uh, I shave a little bit off the inner edge or I, or I drill a little, take a Dremel and drill out little areas of the uh, hard case around it. Until it, until it balances even. Sometimes you could just put a little piece of tape over uh, over an edge. Some people put a little dab of glue or paint on the back sides of the light ones to meet the heavy. I usually go for the heavy and take off a little bit to meet the light because there's usually just like one that's heavy, one or two that's heavy. What was that, Marty? I wonder how bad the parachute went off. Oh, drift? Yeah. Well, I dropped those sponge balls out there. Doggone if I can find them. I walked the whole field. A number of times. That's why my feet are cramping up, probably. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Got for yeah, living a little dangerous on that one. Damn those balls, I was going to test them out in the field that I was going to reload them for when Marty got here. And just as I was buzzing over the top of them from behind, I was going to deploy. And both balls would have hit them in be from behind. That was my thought. I need to land. We'll try it next time. If I can find those balls again, I'll find something else. wonder where the hell they went though. Chilly today, but hot tamale. Good job, buddy. Nice flying. Woo Marty's up to. Yeah, it's like release it over there by that flag, or or Wait, that flag. Try to hold this. This side. Oh yeah, I just carried my timber all the way over to the truck before. Oh, it's picking up again now too, big time. I thought about pulling the 1500 out, but man, it's just getting too windy and nasty again. It's cooling off again too, so much for a 50 degree, beautiful, wonderful day. I'm still wearing a. We got winter, winter storm jacket. watch. When? When is it supposed to start? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Great. Does that mean tonight? 
We wake up to snow or does it no, start tomorrow? It starts tomorrow. Shoot. You gonna fly anymore? Yeah. Winter Storm Watch, McHenry, Illinois. Hey, we should show this plane over for anybody that wants to learn. All right, we're gonna tune out here for a second here, guys. One more time. With the camera. You got one. Should be two. Where'd you find this at? Over there? Wow. The other one's got to be close. Right, left, up, down. Maybe a degree of flaps. Take off flaps. Those are our flaps. I made some fine-tuned adjustments on this and gave it a little bit more elevator, a little more aileron. So I want to be able to turn that sharp at least. Alright, let's see. Let's find a Good place right about here for a bomb drop. Yeah. Oh. Bomb drop. Yeah. I think I can intercept my own bomb? No, it's dropping too fast. Good bomb drop though. Took twice to get it out of there though. Had to pitch it up. Yeah, this wind's really kicking these things around. Coming up, Mike? Yeah, I think we can all fly together. Sure, man. I'll keep an eye out for you. I'm starting to lose power already. Probably just because it's so windy. I am running 3S. 4S would make a big difference there. About half throttle. Here's full throttle, trying to catch them. You're tough to follow with this bigger bird. I'm about three quarters throttle. I'm hardly moving. I think it's about time to bring her in. I don't want any more mishaps like what happened the last time. Touchdown, crowd goes wild. Let's see if the camera's still working. Yay, we got a full flight on this one. Hope you guys enjoyed the ride. It is, you know, like I say. You are now free to walk about the cabin. What goes on what what goes on up at Oshkosh is 
you know, <laughs> it's like Vegas. There's a little something there for our onboard passengers for this flight. Be sure to check it out, guys. Skip Built RC, and we'll have this video up there as well. It's whatever. Thanks for watching. I, I, I really don't Catch you guys later. Balls are in your pockets, Skip. I can find your balls. That's cool. So I'm not a one ball man anymore now? <laughs> hey, he did. Both balls there, guys. I can't believe I didn't see that. Let's see if the camera, well, we'll find out if the camera shows those dropping or not. At least we get to see the chute dropping. And Marty was kind enough to bring that over for me, too. That's successful. Three times for three. Three for three on that one, though. What's Mikey doing? Oh, he looks like a crazy crop duster. Drunken pilot! You're going to elevator that thing and just land it straight down, aren't you? Almost. Guys, thanks again for watching. It's been a wonderful Sunday. I'm supposed to have a major snowstorm coming up very shortly, so I don't know when I'll get to see you again, but uh, I think I finally got this thing tuned in just about where I like it. Watch Mikey's landing, and we will see y'all later. Yeah, I bounced the water pot off. Yeah, I was worried about that. Use some of my foam tack glue, Marty. Stop, stop by on the way home, and we'll we'll pop that on. It'll never come off again. And it's so clean, you don't see it. It's clear. No, I I popped that one off. I didn't pop the one I. The did. one you repaired? No. Oh shit. I popped the other one off. All right. So. Well, you're welcome to use foam tack. It's it's a superior to foam tat or, or uh, tight bond wood glue or white glue whatever you were using general purpose glue is not good for RC airplanes honestly yeah I didn't have no problem with the other the other motor pods held on but yet you know it gets enough vibration that stuff gets kind of brittle hey, or a little bit of moisture and boing it's done just have to see okay well, you're welcome to use my foam tack. That yeah, is the best product I've ever used for anything. Remember, I put my tire valve on my truck and drove it for three days before I could get my valves changed. Where did you get that one at? Uh, the foam tack? Yeah. I, could, I got. You can get it through Amazon. You can get it at Motion RC. Nice landing, Mike. All right, I gotta go home. Crash Test Boys, signing out. Oh, this is where you, bad stuff usually happens. We missed your crash, though, dude. Yeah. What, did it pop off in the air on you? I got thrown down to the ground. Oh, bummer. Like a wind shear. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was worried about. I mean, I had to, it almost wiped my plane out before. This one I didn't have a problem with today, but uh, it was still like, it still wasn't actually quite right with the wind. Just watch out for the wind shears. Yeah, they suddenly go down <laughs> or up. Yeah, you get, you'll get pushed down to the ground real fast. And you watch out too with this. Oh yeah, for sure. There's no suspension on this thing. Yeah, I was riding the elevator coming in, making sure. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We will catch you all later. Yeah, but you know what? What? If I bust up my plane, I buy a new fuselage. I don't care. The fuselages aren't cheap. Hell yeah. It's the guts in them that are so expensive. I'm not doing flying RC airplanes. I got to get my cub out one of these days. This summer I'll get my... Well, he could up. fly this thing for like seven or eight minutes, I think. What's Twelve that? minutes, this plane of his. Oh, yeah. So. I don't want to. I'm going home. Lizzie's on her way. Last chance, Mike. Make it spectacular. You be a crab... You crab it in. And don't try and make love to Skip's plane either. Or me. You're getting close. One wheel. Yay! Crowd goes wild. You can take a bow on that one, buddy. Yeah, Mikey. Want to be like Mike? <laughs> See you guys. Thanks for watching. Ciao. Hi to Jim out there. Hi to Dave out there. Hi to all you guys. I uh, appreciate you all watching and uh, love you, man. Love you guys. Take care. <laughs> bye bye.